Hadith number 19. Aban narrates from Salim who said, I went to Abu Zar when he was ill during the Caliphate of Umar. Umar came to visit Abu Zar when Amir al-Mu'minin was sitting with Abu Zar. Salman and Baghdad were also there. At that time, Abu Zar made his will to Amir al-Mu'minin It was written down and witnessed. When Umar went away, a man from the relatives of Abu Zar, who was one of his paternal cousins, and from Bani Ghaffar said, Asked Abu Zar, Who stopped you from making your will to Amir al-Mu'minin Umar? He replied, I have made my will to the true, true Amir al-Mu'minin. When we were forty men from Arab and forty men from Ajum, at that time the Holy Prophet wasallam, had ordered us and we saluted Ali wasallam, saying Amir al-Mu'minin and among us was also this man who just went and to whom you said Amir al-Mu'minin. Nobody from either the Arab of Ajum or Mawali dead ask the Holy Prophet except him and his companion who made him caliph. Is this true from Allah and Rasulullah? At that time the Holy Prophet became very annoyed and replied, Oh Allah, yes, this is true from Allah and his Rasul. Allah had commanded me about this, so I commanded you. Sulaim continued, I asked O oh, Abul Hassan, you and O oh, Sulman and O oh, Mikdad, you, are you all saying what Abu Zar said? They all replied, Yes, Abu Zar has said truth. Sulaim said, I said there are four just people. If only one of these had narrated this hadith to me, even then I would not doubt its truth. But there are four here. This is more than enough for me and for increase in my faith. He said, May Allah keep you safe. Can you tell me the names of the eighty men who were from Arab and Ajam? Salman named one by one. So Ali al-Islam, Abu Zar al-Baghdad said, Salman has said truth. May Allah have mercy on him and forgive him and all of them. So the men who were named included Abu Bakr, Omar, Abu Ubaidah, Maaz, Salim, and those five of the Shura, Amar ibn Yasser and Sa'ad ibn Ibadah, and the remaining from Aqba and Ubay ibn Ka'ab, Abu Zar himself, Mikdad, and the remaining from Ahle Badr, and from them mostly were from Ansar, and within them Abu Haytham ibn Dehan, and Khalid ibn Zayd, Abu Ayyub, Usaid ibn Huzair, and Bashir ibn Sa'ad. Sulaim continued to say, I think that I met all of these people and I asked each one of them privately. So some of them kept quiet and did not answer at all and hid it from me. Some of them informed me and then said, We are surrounded by fitna. Our eyes and ears were overpowered. And this was at the time when Abu Bakr claimed that he heard the Holy Prophet وسلم, saying, We Ahlul Bayt are those whom Allah has blessed with reputation and has chosen the hereafter for instead of this world for us. And he does not want that for us Ahlul Bayt. He joins Nabuat and Imamat. And this is the argument that Abu Bakr used against Ali Islam when he was brought to pay allegiance. So he confirmed it and four people who in our eyes were good and had done nothing wrong stood as witnesses. Abu Ubaidah, Salim, Umar and Maaz. And we thought that they had said truth. So when Ali Islam had paid allegiance, then we came to know that the Holy Prophet Wasallam had said what Ali said and said that those five were the ones who had written a book, Sahifa, and had decided and agreed in the shade of Kaaba that if Muhammad wasallam passed away or got killed, then these people will overpower Ali and remove his caliphate from him. Then Ali wasallam made four people witness it, Salman, Abu Zar, Mikdad, and Zubair. And these people witnessed it at the time 
with the cursed and misguiding allegiance of Abu Bakr had become compulsory on us. At that time, we became aware that Ali is not someone who would say a wrong narration from the Holy Prophet, and this also was witnessed by the good people among the companions of the Holy Prophet. So all those that said this, and most of them said, after this we thought carefully, at that time we remembered that the Holy Prophet had said, surely Allah keeps four from my companions as his friends, and has commanded me that I also love them, and heaven is waiting for all of them. So we asked him, O Messenger of Allah, who are these four? Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam replied, My brother, my vizier, my inheritor, and my caliph in my ummah, and after me, the guardian of all Mumineen, my brother Ali ibn Abi Talib, and Salman Abu Zar, and Mikdad ibn Aswad, and we are turning in repentance to Allah, and are seeking his forgiveness for everything that we have done. We heard the Holy Prophet saying about matter, the meaning of which we could not understand except that it was good. He said, surely, surely some people from my companions will come to me at the fountain, and they had some status and degrees until they stand in their places and will see me and mistakenly will come close to me and they will be made to stand on the left. So I will say, Oh Allah, these are my companions, my companions. So I will be told, You do not know what they have done after you. Since you separated from these people, they became apostates and remained apostates. By our lives, if we all at the time of the demise of the Holy Prophet وسلم, had handed over the Caliphate to Ali Islam and obeyed him and followed him and paid allegiance to him, then we would have found the right path, would have been guided and got divine guidance. But Allah wanted that there be dispute, separation and problems, so it is necessary that, that happens which Allah knows and what is in fate and destiny.